if you are getting the one file failed to validate and will be reacquired error on Steam, then we know how to fix it. Watch this video till the end and learn how to solve this problem. While trying to verify the integrity of game files on Steam, you may face the one file fail to validate and will be reacquired error. Here we have shown how to easily solve it. So watch till the end and perform as shown. Before we get into the solution, subscribe to our channel for future tech support. Also, like this video if it helps you solve this issue. Don't forget to comment your feedback on the solutions or if you are facing any issue while performing them. We also have a Facebook group of troubleshooting experts where you can share your tech issues and get direct help. The link to the group is in the pinned comment. Now, let's jump into the solutions. Mods are great for enhancing in-game experience but it can also be responsible for this issue. When you are verifying the integrity of the game files, Steam is checking whether the downloaded game files match the servers. While you install a mod, it may change certain game files to produce its desired effect. This can be at odds with Steam and you will likely have to face the fail to validate Steam game files error. The first thing you should do when you face this error is to disable all your mods or even uninstall them. After that, run the verify integrity of the game files checkup on Steam and check whether the error arises again or not. Method 2 Another fix that you can try is end all the Steam processes and then restart Steam to verify the integrity of the game files. Press the Ctrl plus Shift plus Escape keys to open the Task Manager. Select the Processes tab and locate the Steam Client process. Once you find anything with the name Steam, right click on it and select the End Task option. After Steam closes, Restart it. You can also try closing the unnecessary apps running in the background that may be causing this issue. Open Task Manager and check if any unwanted processes are running. Right click on them and select End Task. Method 3 one of the known causes of this error is corrupted memory. There can be bad sectors in your hard drive that are unwritable or inaccessible. If this is the case, then the files fail to validate and will be reacquired error can arise. Fortunately, there is an inbuilt tool in Windows 10 that checks for bad memory sectors and fixes them if possible. Press the Windows plus R keys to open the Run Utility. Type CMD and press Ctrl plus Shift plus Enter to open an elevated command prompt. Now type the check disk C colon command and press Enter. Here C colon is the system drive so change it to the drive letter of your system drive. Wait for the scan to finish it and do not close it prematurely. Method 4. One of the reported causes of this error is connected controllers. The controllers can be a gamepad, joystick or others except for the standard keyboard and mouse. If you are using a controller, try disconnecting it and check whether it fixes this issue. Method 5. Windows Firewall protects your PC from malicious apps accessing the internet and harming your PC. Sometimes the firewall may stop Steam from accessing the internet or stop it from downloading some game files. 
This can lead to the Steam Verify game cache one file failed error. In this situation, you may need to disable the Windows Firewall. Remember that disabling Windows Firewall will leave your computer vulnerable. So, if after disabling Windows Firewall this error persists, enable it back again. Type Firewall and Network Protection in the Windows search bar and select the top result. This will open the firewall settings in Windows Security. Click on the Domain Network option. Turn off the Microsoft Defender Firewall toggle. This will disable the firewall on the domain network. Method 6 Steam's configuration file can be corrupted, and it might just be the file that Steam is pointing towards that it cannot validate. You can try deleting the corrupted configuration file and run a verification of game files again on Steam. Don't do this if you have Steam Clouds disabled. Otherwise, you will lose all your saved data and progress. Now here is how you can do it. Navigate to the Steam directory. Open the folder with the name User Data. This is where all the Steam IDs are listed. Click on your Steam ID. Delete everything in that directory like all folders and files. After that, relaunch Steam. If Steam Clouds is enabled, then it should automatically detect that the configuration file is missing and start downloading it. Method 7. Another solution that you can try is deleting all the local saved files of the game and re-downloading it from Steam. Sometimes the installer file can be corrupted beyond fix and deleting may be the only fix. Also, deleting the locally saved game files will only remove the game from your PC and not delete your progress and achievements in-game. Open Steam and select the Library tab. Right-click on the game. It will open the right-click context menu. Click on the Properties option from the pop-up menu. Select the Local Files tab and click on the Browse Local Files option. Windows Explorer will open Steam's local saved files. Delete everything in that folder. Open Task Manager again and close all of Steam's processes before relaunching it. Method 8. If none of the earlier solutions work, then the only thing left to try is reinstalling Steam. The installer files of Steam can become corrupted, which can make it trigger the one file fail to validate and will be reacquired error. Open the Run Utility. Type appviz.cpl and press Enter to open the Programs and Features panel. Locate Steam among the listed apps and right click on it. Select the Uninstall option. Follow the on screen instructions to complete the uninstallation process. After uninstalling Steam, visit Steam's official website and download and install Steam. So that's it. If this video has helped you in figuring this issue, then give us a like and subscribe to our channel. If the issue isn't resolved from the solutions we have shown here, comment below to let us know and our team will try their best to help you out. Also join our Facebook group for direct tech support. The link to the group is in the pinned comment. Thanks for watching Silicofin.